The latest defense budget of United States this financial year totals 752.9 billion, a 2% uptick over the previous year. The fiscal year 2022 US Defense Department budget request includes the largest ever research, development, test and evaluation request packed at $112 billion, which is a 5.1% increase over fiscal 2021. It also includes $27.7 billion for nuclear triad modernization. The US military budget includes $37.9 billion for the Department of Energy and other agencies. It reflects a 1.6% increase from the fiscal 2021 enacted budget. The US defense budget is still about four times that of China and is almost the sum of the defense budgets of the 11 countries that follow. India's total defense budget, including payments of salaries and pensions to the defense personnel for the current financial year is 65.4 billion US dollars or 4,78,195 crore Indian rupees. Stay tuned to get more insight on US budget and what it means to the world, especially China. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin in a statement said, the budget invests in people, supports readiness and modernization, combats threats posed by climate change and provides capabilities needed to meet the pacing threat from Beijing. The US defense budget request highlights include $20.4 billion for missile defense, $6.6 billion to develop and field long-range fires, $52.4 billion for fourth and fifth generation fighter aircraft, $34.6 billion for a hybrid fleet of manned and unmanned naval platforms, $12.3 billion for ground force weapons and next generation combat vehicles, $20.6 billion for space capabilities, $10.4 billion for cyberspace activities, $122.1 billion for training, installation support and support to allies and partners. The budget provides a 2.7% pay rise for both military and civilians while investing nearly $9 billion in family support programs. The budget request slightly lowers total military active and reserve component and strength from financial year 21 authorized $21,50,375 to $21,45,900. The only service to get an and strength increase is the Space Force, which has 6,434 guardians authorized in financial year 21, with the request to bump that up to 8,400. Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen H. Hicks said the budget also addresses the COVID-19 pandemic and drawing down U.S. forces from Afghanistan with an exit date of September 11th, adding that the department will provide over-the-horizon capability for counterterrorism and Afghan National Security Forces support. The budget also documents some of the tough choices U.S. had to make as U.S. lessens its reliance on vulnerable systems that are no longer suited for today's advanced threat environment or are too costly to sustain. Those resource reallocation are going to fund advanced technologies like microelectronics, hypersonic missiles, artificial intelligence, cyberspace capabilities and a 5G network. DOD also has invested in workforce, particularly in billets, where there are critical needs, Deputy Secretary said. The request also looks to build an increasingly resilient force, one that recognizes and embraces its diversity as a strength. The budget also provides funding to strengthen the department's ability to identify and address insider threats in its ranks. Annie McAndrew, performing the duties of Undersecretary of Defense Controller and Chief Financial Officer said, the budget also reflects capabilities for managing threats from Russia, Iran, North Korea and violent extremist organizations in addition to China. The budget also invests in taking care of people. Their physical, mental and emotional health is among the department's highest priorities. Navy Vice Admiral Ron Boxell, the Director of Forces Structure, Resources and Assessment, Joint Staff said, the department will work with Congress to diverse legacy platforms that overburden readiness accounts. Overall, the U.S. defense budget focuses on containing Chinese threats, which at the moment is U.S.'s biggest adversary and poses all dimensional threats to U.S. national security and its allies world over. The 2021 Chinese defense budget of $202 billion U.S. billion or $1.355 trillion Chinese yuan represents a 6.8% nominal increase 
over the core 2020 budget of 188 billion US dollars or 1.268 trillion Chinese yuan. In real terms, 2021 Chinese defense budget growth is actually slightly lower than in 2020 owing to the 3% annual inflation rate in China. But in value terms, the increase amounts to $13 billion, a figure comparable with the entire Taiwanese defense budget. According to CPRI, to give a sense of where China's defense spending fits within a regional context, Asian defense spending accounted for 25% of the global total in 2020, up from 17.8% in 2010, despite a recent slowdown in defense budget growth. If we look at the budget of some major countries in the world, then as per CPRI military expenditure database, Russia's defense budget is $61.7 billion, United Kingdom spends $59.2 billion, which is closely followed by Saudi Arabia, who spends $57.5 billion on its military. Germany and France almost equals in defense expenditure estimated to be 52.8% and $52.7 billion. Japan's defense budget is 49.1, while South Korea's is $45.7 billion. Italy, Australia, Canada, Israel and Brazil defense budget is almost similar. Italy spends $28.9 billion on its military, Australia spends $27.5 billion, Canada $22.8 billion, Israel $21.7 and Brazil $19.7 billion on their militaries. Oman, Afghanistan and Lebanon are three countries whose defense budget was over 10% of their GDPs. In terms of percentage of government spending, Belarus, Singapore and Saudi Arabia topped the list in 2020. Interestingly, US is to defend many of its allies like Taiwan, protect sea lanes of communications and global US interests. So for this reason, US defense budget has a proposed provision of $122.1 billion for training, installation support and support to allies and partners. China will do everything to contain US in West Pacific, especially near China's coastal waters and South China Sea. According to Chinese government mouthpiece Global Times, China perceives US defense budget as big bubble of the US military expenditure that will eventually burst. However, China is way behind US in terms of military infrastructure, technology and capabilities. In one sense, China is still ahead and perhaps a world power to reckon with is the propaganda war as it is very hard for Chinese to match US capabilities in reality. Hope you like the video. Please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind. Bande Matram.